The history of artificial intelligence. Until 1950, people were unaware of the term artificial intelligence. In 1955, however, John McCarthy introduced the term artificial intelligence. John McCarthy, along with Alan Turing, Alan Newell, Herbert A. Simon, and Marvin Minsky, are known as the founding fathers of artificial intelligence. Computers and artificial intelligence in general started to become a lot faster, affordable, accessible, and just better. In 1974, for example, computers were able to think abstractly, self-recognize, and they achieved natural language processing. In 1980, the funding for AI research fired up, and in 2000, a lot of the AI landmark goals were achieved, despite the lack of government and public interest in AI. Today, AI is present in almost everything we use digitally from computers and phones to facial recognition and ads. AI is everywhere. With artificial intelligence. Working on and developing artificial intelligence is very expensive, especially for smaller businesses and organizations. Massive corporations like Google, Facebook, Apple, Microsoft, and more have whole separate budgets just for simply adopting and implementing AI technologies. One of the major problems with AI are the ethical challenges that come with, for example, how artificial intelligence can completely replicate how a human acts and how it becomes increasingly more difficult to tell the difference between humans and AI, or how many of the jobs that humans have today are being replaced with AI and robots. Although robots doing a job does make space for less human error, but that still means there will be less jobs in the future. Another problem with AI is the distrust some people have with it, like, for example, our conspiracy theorists or some people think that AIs will replace humans or take over the world or something. And although this is just them throwing around stuff, it still creates just distrust for AI. of artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence can automate a lot of labor and other stuff humans usually would have to do or couldn't even achieve. Also, AI does not have any human error, so if it's, for example, calculating something, there isn't really a chance for it miscalculating anything, unless the program itself is coded poorly, but then again, that would be human error. With quicker and easier customer service, and by that I mean, for example, with better service in general. Not only customer service, for example, when traffic lights were implemented instead of humans standing in the middle of the road telling when people they cannot and can't drive, there were lights that went green, yellow or red. The philosophy behind artificial intelligence. Can a machine act intelligently? Can it solve any problem that the person would solve by thinking? Are human intelligence and machine intelligence the same? Is the human brain the computer then? Can a machine have a mind, mental states, and consciousness in the same sense that a human being can? Can it feel how things are? These are all very valid questions you could ask anybody, and depending on the person, they would give a completely different answer. However, my personal philosophy is that uh, artificial intelligence has the ch like has the potential to surpass the human mind, but I am unsure if artificial intelligence and AI can ever be able to feel emotions like humans can, like anger or sadness, for example. Artificial intelligence in pop culture. AI and robots in films are usually depicted as like the main bad villain sometimes. Uh, they are like robotic and cold, they don't have any emotions and really feel for anyone else. Uh, there are depictions of good, bad and neutral of AI in films and media in general. Like good in for example how like for example Wally like it's just like a robot just cruising. Or how bad like there's like bad AI villains or just neutral and helpful in some cases where AI is just like helping the characters. There's also the thing between organic and artificial, how AI is all artificial and how, for example, humans or plants are organic. Artificial intelligence plays a huge role in social media, for example, like Facebook or TikTok, where if you like, like posts, 
AI will calculate what you like and give you posts and ads based on that. So yeah, AI is really everywhere when you think about it.